remarkable successes in our modern agricultural system, but there are also significant failures. Modern agriculture feeds over six billion mouths each day, and we've come a really long way through more efficient farming practices to be able to feed all those mouths. But on the flip side, it's not without negative consequences. Agriculture is the largest consumer of land on the planet. It's the largest consumer of fresh water. It's the cause of the lion's share of global water pollution. You're starting to see efforts being made from all corners of the globe, all gearing toward a more efficient form of farming. And New York's definitely an exciting place to be right now for urban agriculture. I think that living in New York makes you really appreciate space. I mean, my last apartment, I didn't even have any closets. I don't know if you're just more used to as a New Yorker, but once you just see the amount of square feet you have to work with, you just have to figure out how to fit everything. New York doesn't have a lot of arable land, but one vastly underutilized resource we do have is unused rooftop space. So that's one very compelling reason why urban agriculture could work in, in a place like New York City. Gotham Greens is an innovative urban agricultural company based in New York City. We built and started to operate the country's first commercial scale rooftop hydroponic greenhouse. I remember when I decided I wanted to do this, I was in my bachelor's degree and I was studying plant biology. And I remember calling my mom and saying like, this is what I'm gonna do with my life. I'm gonna be a greenhouse farmer. And she started crying. She was, you know, really concerned that that was not a good career path. You know, a big part of the challenge just in the design is putting it on a roof. You know, how are we going to do this? How are we going to attach a greenhouse to a building? Where would we get our supplies from? How would we get all the permits and approvals? So not having a precedent was the biggest challenge. put together a package of technologies to grow the best fresh produce we can right here in the city year round. In the winter it can be so dreary, so cold. Uh, winter goes really fast here in the greenhouse. I mean we keep it 75 degrees during the day, 65 degrees at night. We have 55 kilowatts of solar panels on site that help to meet the electrical demands of the facility. We capture all of our irrigation water for reuse. We use about 10 times less water than conventional farming. We eliminate any sort of pesticide use and fertilizer runoff, which is a large cause of global water pollution. We stick to organic seeds, uh, non-GMO. We have a team of 20 people uh, working 52 weeks a year. immensely rewarding to be able to start something in New York that's never been tried before on a commercial scale. We've shown that you can design it, that you can build it, that you can distribute it, deliver it, and I think it's just, you know, been a real success story. We're building two additional greenhouse facilities this year. Uh, one of them is going to be a 20,000 square foot greenhouse. So we're partnering with Whole Foods Market. Uh, to build one of the world's first, if not the first, commercial greenhouse integrated into a supermarket. At the new store, we're excited that we're going to be able to show the community, the customers, and hopefully some students how their food is grown. Uh, we're educating the people about where their food comes from. I think we're able to show people that you can do this right in the city that what you might think the word farm means is not just somewhere far away from you that is very pastoral, you know, that it can really be right in the city.